Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today we are talking about how you guys can use the new super minion. The new super minion is actually super underrated. The first time when I saw the super minion I was like yeah it's looking pretty cool but I don't know I think the super Valkyries are way cooler and I don't know maybe that changed my mind um, because I tried them and they are freaking strong so I will show you guys a couple of attacks in a second, but first off, let's take one more time a look at this super cool Barbarian King skin, uh, because that's probably one of the coolest skins so far in the game because of the really nice anim animations. So if you're thinking about buying the skin or if you're thinking about buying the new offers, make sure to use a creator code. There are a lot of content creators out there which you guys can support. And if you guys like the content on this channel and you guys would like to support me, then use code ITZU, but make sure whenever you're buying anything in game that you have one of those creators in there. It's a huge support for us. And well, let's get started with the first attack. Obviously, I was in Titan, so not every single base had like every single building up. Not every single base was, was a max base, but still we had a ton of fun using this strategy in the, uh, in the stream. And yeah, like this super minion or like this mass super minion attack worked pretty well for us. And on this base, what we're going to do is kind of we're using the combination of the lightning spell and the earthquake to take down one of the corner or like flanking fern towers, which are close to the town hall. And then we're sending in the super minions into the town hall, especially like the super minions are especially strong if you can get um, out of the buildings around the town down first and then sending in the super uh, super minions into the town hall because of their huge range, they can yeah, basically dodge the entire giant bomb or like Inferno Tower bomb, whatever you want to call it, um, off the town. That's pretty crazy because this is allowing you to not only have one warden ability, it's basically allowing you to have two warden abilities because you can get rid of the town hall sometimes without even using anything. And that's pretty crazy because then you have like this second or like this kind of second warden ability for the backhand. That's that's pretty pretty strong. So let's take a look at this attack because this time the uh, the tunnel was a little bit deeper inside, so it was not that easy to snipe for us. So what we're doing over here, we're sending a couple of um, super minions already at the bottom side to kind of flank everything and kind of push everything inside. And now most of the super minions in behind, we're kind of delaying a couple of them, so it's more like um, timing them because we obviously want to take as much out of there five shots with a longer range as possible. So I feel like placing all of them at once is not always the best sh or like the best thing to do, but I'm not really sure. Like I have not really tried them um, enough to 100% say that, but that was kind of my first impression. Um, so yeah, freezing the town hall obviously to make sure that we have that we have access into the town hall and they like it's not dealing too much damage. On this one, as I said, we have to freeze the warden, um, the, or like we have to use the warden ability for the town hall. But now we have the heal spell for the back, and I feel like heal spells are pretty important in combination with the with the super minions because they're kind of weak, which means like HP wise they don't have as much HP, for example, as dragons, obviously. So they're as, not as tanky, and that's a huge thing. So now everything is getting into the Inferno Tower compartment, and to be honest, there's not much left. Like the queen already took out a really big part of that base, and now and now easily those uh, those last couple of Headhunters, uh, super minions, that was the word, like, with so many super troops, it's always hard to name them correctly, I guess. But there's just so many uh, super minions alive, which can easily finish off this base, which is easily going to result in a 3-star. So, they're actually pretty strong, and there are a couple of different variations out there on how you guys can use them. And what we try the next time, or like, this next attack, is going to be basically drag bad, but instead using dragons, we're going to use the super minions. So that's going to be kind of interesting because I feel like with having so many super minions, like normally with dragons, you have like around 10 or something, you can tank maybe multi-time from towers better than for example, the uh, with like for dragons in the back end especially. So that might be a little bit better even in the end. So we have to figure that out. So let's start attacking this base. This base has obviously nice loot as well. So that's kind of the main thing while we're attacking it. Obviously not really max, but still it's all about the showcasing uh, or like kind of playing around with the new troops. I'm using a super minion to actually funnel. I think that's a really great usage of that as well. Um, 
I'm not really sure if like a Bay Dragon would be better overall. Like it's still better because it's like cheaper in like the housing space. So not really sure, but uh, still like, like a pretty good um, option to funnel now as well. So you have so many options now with the super troops. I'm kind of like when they're adding more and more super troops, I'm at some point kind of waiting for them giving us more, more uh, super troops at the same time because I feel like at some point. You can't, like, if you have, like, 30 super troops or something, obviously this number is pretty high and, like, just speculations. But let's say you have at some point a lot of super troops. How should we, like, if you have, can only pick one super troop, it would be a lot of, a lot of wasted, like, I don't know, potential, maybe? Not really sure uh, what exactly the plan is going to be for that one. Now we're sending in the Royal Champion on the right side to make sure that we can get rid of the scatter shot, so the pathing into the tunnel is better. And we could use the Slammer or the Blimp to get the tunnel down, and on the back end we don't have that much splash left, which is basically just the two uh, Wizard Towers. And we still have four freezes, so that should be alright. I take my time over here because, like I said, it's like trying to learn and everything, so I need to figure out what I should do. On this one, this was like a um, requested army as well on my, on my stream. Um, and the guy said, okay, let's bring two hounds as well with this army composition. I'm not 100% sure if that's the best shot or if it should be more like just the super minions. I feel like the super minions on their own, they're already quite tanky. And I feel like their lava hounds are not providing too much value in there. Especially like, I feel like they both just went into the base with like 60 troop space and not did too much. So I'm not really sure about that. Now the rage into the town hall. I used the freeze once because I felt like otherwise the town was just dealing too much damage to our minions. Now the warden ability. And now take a look at the damage of those minions. And like all of those buildings are just melting. It's crazy. The town hall is just, it's just gone. And now the bats are coming in for the back end. So this is basically the drag bat version, but instead of dragons, it's super minions. So that's pretty cool actually. Uh, I like the idea when the, when the, like, first off, I was kind of confused when the guy suggested it, but then I was like, yep, this could work, so let's just try it. And yeah, in the end, it worked actually pretty good. Obviously, not a max base, but still, it's all about just like the planning and like having obviously like the idea. So that was pretty nice. And uh, yeah, I think what we should do next is once again getting back to the first, uh, first strategy, which I was running like this mass, um, just the mass super minions, because I feel like. That was the most successful one and it worked pretty well overall. So um, yeah, let's try it out one more time. And this is kind of this box base, which everyone knows. Like there are so many people running this base and I can already spoil this. This one is going to be insane big overkill. But let's, let's just watch it. I will try to explain it more because it's all about the pathing once again. And this, this combination of the earthquake and the lightning spell is just insane on more of, most of those um basis so that's pretty crazy royal champion at the top side um and obviously the uh, the royal champion ability in a second and i'm a little bit like i'm a little bit late on my headhunter over here sadly so the royal champion is already dead that was really bad on my part to be honest but now it's all about okay funneling on the other side i'm using one of the super minions and then just go in. I think this army composition could be actually really really good in legend as well because i feel like it's going to work on a ver like wide variety on bases, so that's pretty good. I'm using the Slammer to get rid of the Inferno Tower. I'm using the Poison to get rid of the CC, so I I knew I would go into the CC with my heroes, but still I had the Poison, so I was kind of like fine with that. And now we have this really good pathing into the Town Hall, and you guys can see as well, there are just like no freaking minions dying. It's pretty crazy. And because they are so quick with the rages and everything, and there's like this really high, high um, DPS of them, they can just get through all of this so freaking easily. We war break in at the bottom side. We still have the one heal spell. I try to figure out where exactly the minions are heading. And as soon as we see that, we can use the heal, heal through the back end, and then just freeze through the back end as well. And that's kind of how we easily drag this base. Obviously, not a max base, but still, I think with so many, so many um, super minions alive, this is an easy peasy overkill three star any day of the uh, any day. Uh, of the week even with like a max space this was a pretty big overkill and like yeah like i said the the super minions the first time i saw them i was like yeah they look pretty cool but uh they were like they're super underrated looking forward to see other teams as well using them um especially like in competitive matches maybe i'm wrong as on, on them right now as well like maybe i'm overreacting now at the moment but 
They seem pretty strong. That's, that's pretty nice as well because everyone was just talking about the Super Valkyries. But yeah, that's about it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys back tomorrow. Until then, see ya and bye bye.